Hello and welcome to Kansan round 10. Um, if you're following along in this series, I am currently 9-0 um, and 0 in this tournament in Kansan, New York. And the situation is that I'm the only person at 9-0, and 0. there's nobody at 8-1, and 1. there's nobody at 7-2. and 2. Uh, and Michael Fagan is at six and three, and um, Jeffrey Nelson's at five and four, and everybody else cannot catch me. Um, I think that's what I remember. So the only two people that can possibly come in first place at this point are Jeffrey Nelson, um, if he wins all of his games and I lose all of my games, or Michael Fagan, if he beats me um, four out of five games if we play all five times. So if he wins four games and I lose one, uh, uh, sorry, if if he wins four games and I lose four games, <laughs> sometimes it's hard to to think. <laughs> anyway, so I'm I'm paired against Michael, uh, which is sensible. Um, he has the best chance to uh, the most the most realistic chance to uh, to win the tournament. Uh, besides me, so um, I get to face him, and if I win one game, I should be pretty good because my spread is very good and his is, is decent, but uh, if I win one game, even by one point, uh, he would have to beat me in the next four games um, by a significant margin um, to win, so I'm not super worried about going one and four. Um, I'm most most worried about going 0 and 5, obviously. <laughs> so that's the situation. Uh, this is my opening rack, and I play Nixie, which seems like the call to make. I wasn't sure if I should play it um, in the other spot uh, with the N on the star. That seemed worse for some reason. Um, but I do have the blank, so if it's more aggressive, that might be good for me. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the issues uh, are, are clear uh, with either placement. Uh, the overlaps can hurt. Um, and I'm not necessarily super well equipped to re-overlap. Um, not only because the two I's next to the X, if you overlap the X, um, you would have to be making some two letter word that can uh, take another hook, uh, like BI to OB, um, HI to AHI, and there aren't that many others, to be perfectly fair with you. Um, the I is, is uh, naturally far less of a, uh, a good tile to re-overlap uh, with the three-letter word uh, than the A or the O or the E, for example. The I is best suited in, uh, in bingos rather than um, short words with a couple vowels in them. Um, so that's just, yeah, that's just what you learn to uh, to understand, I guess, intuitively about things. Um, so yeah, the, the issue is, again, the overlaps. And even if I do draw some scoring tiles, it's going to be hard to uh, manage a re-overlap. So that's why maybe playing uh, over here might be a bit safer uh, for two fewer. Um, or, or playing with the other placement, um, potentially setting up a uh, an S-hook. In any case, um, all very close. Uh, I just chose the standard approach here and was okay with that. Didn't want to overthink too much. Michael responds with Cobb. And again, um, it's kind of hard to re-overlap. Um, and my rack was A-C-E-E-G-Y blank. Uh, so I see he blocked elegancy. Um, I'm not sure what else I potentially even had. Uh, we can check what the uh, what the eight letter words might be. Let me get my bot to warm up. Um, e E G A C Y blank blank. So I am going to see what eight letter words exist. Obviously, none play here, and yeah. The plays here, oh, I use the define command. 
A C G E blah blah blah. Plays here kind of suck. Okay, so delegacy, elegancy, Dionysia, which also fit uh, through the N. So those are the three that are allowed in NWL. Um, yeah, the plays I have here are not very inspiring, actually. Uh, despite having the blank early, I don't really have a great way to score anything here, slash, leave myself very well equipped to bingo next turn. Um, so yeah, uh, maybe Bice is the play, trying to limit these re-overlaps. Uh, for example, if Michael has um, Michael has a, the Z, the Z, uh, he can hit me for over 70 points. Um, so yeah, I was kind of concerned, not just with the Z re-overlaps, but any re-overlap, because despite them being unlikely, uh, because you have to make OB or you have to make S whatever letter here, like ism would fit, uh, they still score a ton of points. So big I, I don't think is right. That just gives back very, very easy scoring spot. It is the top equity play, but um, it's it's super, super easy to score 50 points after big I. But yeah, I kind of like vice. Um, the idea being, yeah, blocking, blocking those plays, potentially setting up my Y. Um, the AGEY will bingo sometimes, AGEY blank, but more importantly, it'll, it'll be able to score pretty well uh, next turn. Um, but I ended up just flat out playing Yage, and uh, I didn't like this idea. Um, but I think I just went on a, uh, I guess, equity, equity journey here. So this doesn't give back as much as um, Big Eye does. 42. Oh, it does actually. It gives back more. Okay. So if I'm hating on in, on Big Eye, um, I should be hating on Yage too. Uh, so Big Eye is probably just a better version of Yage. Um, I don't actually know how to pronounce this word. In any case, um, yeah, this is worrisome. Just putting a Y in a triple lane just to begin with is just not smart. Um, the Y works with vowels and with consonants um, to score points very easily, uh, especially those high scoring consonants. You can use the Y as a vowel and uh, and score enormous amounts of points. So yeah, I guess I'm going to say this seems middling, which is true. Um, tactic small. And I don't really know what the best play is, but I kind of like Bice in hindsight. Um, yeah, Yage is just, just asking for trouble. Michael plays Thy, um, and I drew the second blank here. Um, and I didn't see anything great. I saw that I could play some seven letter words. Um, I could play with Nixies. I could, um, but I, I just didn't see any, any um, triple scoring words or I guess F doubling words, um, which would make me willing to just play off uh, my blank, but I should probably just play like fiancés or something. Let's see what I missed. Um, uniface. Okay. Finance. Yeah, these are pretty simple actually. Um, I don't know why I didn't think of any of these plays. Um, but yeah, there were no bingos to the triple. I really wanted to score 100 points here or block the scoring spot. So I actually decided to get rid of my blank here. And you see the valuation drop is, is pretty enormous. Um, and I don't think a simulation is going to be very favorable to my play uh, because scoring 84 points, uh, it's hard to beat. Even if I do bingo uh, a large amount next turn, uh, it's just not really going to make up for, for the uh, 43 points I'm giving away. And um, unless, I, unless I have some very uh, keen idea that Michael maybe has the Z and is going to play there, uh, this play is not justifiable. Um, but indeed, Michael did uh, have have the Z and was ready to uh, 
was ready to to play it um soon so maybe i'm just like maybe i'm just i don't know i predict the future but it's definitely better to just um play on the the uh the two row here so strategy small um or i'll call it strategy medium so I play Foci, I'm not happy with it. Um, now he knows I probably have the other blank as well. He drops QI. Um, and now I have this rack, and I still have one blank, and the only thing I see is Acetone. Um, and indeed, there's nothing great, but Tac Note is a ton better. Um, so this is a, a high prob bingo miss here by me, and I think I realized after the game that I had just missed play, flat out missed tack node, uh, which fits for one more point and also doesn't open an insane, uh, insanely nice spot. Uh, Octane's also opens a very good spot, but yeah, any of these, any of these words ending in e are just far worse. You'll see uh, tack nodes tack node will will shoot up here just because of how much uh, counterplay I'm giving back with just throwing an E out in space. Uh, so yeah, uh, three out of four moves seem to have been mistakes. So I'm not doing a great job of, uh, of, of playing, playing to the highest level and uh, trying to clinch the tournament for, for sure. So yeah, gotta study those blank bingos. I did spend a spend a long time uh on my on my three previous moves or my two previous moves. Um so I was already feeling a little bit of time pressure. Uh there's no excuse for missing tack node. Um This is a word I should see very, very quickly. Instead I play uh, acetone. At least I'm putting the uh the blank E out in space, but it's not good enough. Michael then hits me with the does because he did have the Z and since uh, I, I know now that he had the Z, I should have been following through with my uh, attempts to limit limit the damage um, and I should never have played acetone. But I did uh, and Michael is ahead uh, 19 points here which is not right because I should be I should be well ahead. I drew, drew both blanks very early and I just fumbled with them. Um, so yeah, in this particular position, um, I think this is my rack. Is that, is that true? Yeah, I think I was thinking of playing Motival and I wasn't sure if it was valid. Uh, turns out it isn't, but what I've missed a veil, I'm just kind of confused because I wrote down that I kept an O, uh, but if I kept an O, then I missed the exact word that I played in multiple spots, moviola, um, which just doesn't seem, and I would have missed it through the E as well, so that doesn't seem plausible at all. Um, so I'm not sure if I had an A or anything here. I could have had one of A, L, um, O, W, probably not W, maybe R. Yeah, but I definitely misannotated here. Um... Yeah, I do think I do think it was an A, and that I missed a veil here. Yeah, I think it was an A. Uh, I saw a vomit as well, but I played Moviola, hoping that I might get a challenge off of this word, because maybe Michael would know it with the E, Moviola, and with not without. Um, but it's definitely just better to play a veil. So yeah, another mistake really not playing this game well. Um, Michael plays Gene for 11? No. 
plays it here. Um, which is very bizarre to me. I saw that he had another N. I spotted that, um, I guess, when he was uh, drawing. Oh, no. Wait. Yeah, no, he didn't overdraw. But, yeah, he played... I, I saw that he had J-E-N-N. -N and, um... Yeah, plays Gene. And I'm just like, okay. This is interesting. We have this situation here. Um, it's going to be hard to deal with. Uh, he was very hesitant to play uh, that move, so I wasn't really too concerned that he had an S immediately, but there are four S's unseen. So maybe he did have an S, but he saw that there were three others and that I might have one. Um, so I played Wo. I could also play Jawar. Um, that's an option. Jawar would allow me potentially to better deal with this open spot here. Um, so I'm kind of liking that. It also just has a, a, a better leaf uh, than Wo does. Uh, but Wo does restrict some of this board. Um, so it does have that going for it. N-E-E -E, uh, takes a couple of letters, but not an S. So it takes a D, uh, and it takes a P, and it takes an M. Um, and those aren't a huge concern. So yeah, I like what this play does, but and I don't like what this play does, but uh, yeah, I could be convinced that Joe R was better. Uh, Michael plays um, N-O-R. Where does he do that? N-O-R. Ah, just right there. <laughs> Struggling this game. Um, and I have this rack. And I decide to just take some points. Llama. Um, I was slightly concerned about this taking hooks. Um, I actually only saw one hook at the time. This word llama uh, is hooked by two letters. Uh, and one of them, if you know, uh, if you if you know that this has two hooks, you can easily find the two letters that hook there if you know if you know well one of them you know for sure another one you might not know but um if you're not thinking about it it's very hard to see one of the hooks um but i decided to play llama um just maximize my score try and uh try and draw into something soon uh but there's some interesting options like joram just ama but i think this one's fine and then I gave Michael a spot for reroute, uh, which is not great. But as you can see, the score is still pretty close. Let's see what I drew. Um, I drew pretty well, pretty balanced. The V just needs to go. Um, I could play Diva or I could play Vid. Um, these both hook rerouted. That's probably where to go here. These S's have still not shown themselves. Um, and at this point, I know that Michael can most likely uh, be pinned on having an S already. Um, and he might just want to use this spot since the score is close and I might have an S myself. So I decided to play Vid. It's a lot better than Diva, not only because it doesn't open this triple, uh, but also because the A is, is a lot more valuable uh, given that it's the last, uh, the second to last A in the, in the unseen letters. And I'm also setting up P-A-R-E very nicely. Uh, right now that scores uh, 28 points, but if I draw an N or a D um, or any number of other combinations, I can score 40 points easily in that spot. Um, however, Diva is simming better for the time being. That's very interesting. Um, Quackle says that score is not important here. Um, you're drawing an S a lot of the time, and you're going to score a lot of points no matter what. Um, so that's definitely very interesting. Whereas, uh, if I play vid, I mean, it complicates the game a bit more, so I'm still partial to it. Uh, but diva simming well is, is pretty interesting. Uh, just demonstrating the dynamicity of the board. Um, is that a word? 
dynamicity. Okay, sorry. Dynamism. Um, or the dynamic. There's this, uh, there's this spot for Ulama. Um, if you guessed it, nice job. Ulama and Lama with the L. Uh, there's the gene spot. You can even potentially get a nice play to this M. Um, there's this triple. There's under here. There's bingos. All sorts of stuff happening on this board. Um, so yeah, maybe Diva. Maybe Diva 12L. I play vid. Feeling pretty comfortable. Michael plays sub. Uh, so he does take the spot away. Um, just in time because uh, I drew Ness. But I didn't really have anything there. I was still looking at uh, the spot. And I see right now already that I missed a much better play than the one I made. Uh, I played pores uh, instead of pario or perea. Or even Paseo. So, um, very, very bad miss by me uh, in this spot. I don't know what was going on here. Uh, I'm just playing like a mule. Um, yeah. Yeah, really, really bad. Um, I'm trying to remember like what my mindset was like why I was so was I distracted or maybe I was just bad <laughs> I'm gonna go with bad um Michael's next play is do it oops wrong um where did he play this it for 21 right there okay um and now i don't have an s which is a problem uh, i'm up four points but those having an s is extremely important in this position uh, so power is available i decide to just play heap uh, try to score as many points as possible um, i'm not sure how good this play is but um yeah, I really am not sure like what was what was happening in my mind, but I'm just really, <laughs> frankly, disgusted with how I'm playing this game. Um, pa is fine, I guess. The e, yeah, the e might add a little bit of value to the rack. Uh, potentially better than heap. Heap is fine, uh, but yeah, I don't want to open an easy triple here. I do want to get rid of my u though. So maybe Pawa. The U is really a big problem here. Uh, anyways, I play Heap just to just to score, keep the scoring pressure on. Uh, and Michael plays um, for a lot of points. Plays Bowels. Um, for Forty six. And my next decision is actually pretty easy because it gives me a nice overlap. Um, I think I guess the only question is whether I play A Y E here instead, or uh, E Y E instead of A Y E. Just saving my progress, and we'll see what championship player thinks. Um, those that don't are new, newer to Quackle, uh, the proper way to use it is to simulate during most of the game, and once uh, there are fewer than four, uh, fourteen tiles unseen. So if you're then seven tiles in the bag, you can start running a championship player which tries to go through the entire end game exhaustively, which the simulation fails to do. Um, wow. And yeah, some sometimes sometimes uh championship player is completely wrong. I'm not sure if it's completely wrong here, but it's telling me that I should uh, empty the bag which I don't think is, is correct. Um, of course, the concern after this is that uh, Michael is going to play from the FA, score well over 30 points, and potentially go out next turn. Uh, so the question is whether the math is the math. If I play AYE, 
I'm going up by 27 if he scores 36 um, or 33 with this play. He'll be up uh, six, nine points, and he'll have um, one, two, three, four, five. He'll have uh, four letters on his rack, um, and we'll probably be able to go out for maybe 10 points if he can go out. Um, so I would have to be scoring um, pretty well to outrun that. Um, but I think I, I think the math is the math and that I can pretty well outrun that. So I do this, make the play is farting for 33, um, and I draw the last S, um, which I guess was a concern. If I don't draw the S here, uh, Michael might be able to score enough with his outplays. Like for example, if instead I have this rack, uh, it's possible that I'm losing this. Yes, I am just barely playing urged. And he has this crazy outplay of Eosin to win by one. Okay, if that's the case, like if he has some crazy, some crazy ways to win, I'm not super, super concerned that um, my play was really that wrong because uh, I'm so often drawing into a five letter word here. Um, in any case, this was my actual rack, and I saw that um, not only did I not see um, another outplay than D-I-N-E or N-I-D-E here for Michael, but that, that wouldn't even be enough. Going out wouldn't be enough. I'm down five. I'll be up 23. I'll have to be scoring 19 points to tie the game. There's nowhere to do that here. So I was home free. Lose your best play. He almost challenges, but lets it go. He plays faxed, also the best play. And I go out um, with uh, goats, which is among the three best plays. And I somehow win this game by 19 points. So yeah, really not my finest hour, or 27 minutes. But uh, yeah, drawing those blanks really helped. Drawing that last S was, I guess, important. Um, there might be some tricky ways for Michael to win. Um, for example, if he, he, he had um, this word instead, um, it could have been it could have been a different story. Um, but I think I'm winning a large majority of those those end games, no matter what. So, all right, game over, 419, 400, and I've pretty much clinched the tournament at this point. All I have to do is just not lose my next next four games by um, like 120 a piece or something, uh, and I'll be okay. Uh, to win the tournament. So yeah, um, see you next game. Um, it's me against Michael Fagan again, and he, he's going to play me until he loses because um, he's the only one that can catch me. And that's how the pairings work. Uh, now I'm 10-0 and 0 on top of the world, but now that I'm looking back, i uh, very disappointed with the way I played this game. Hopefully I play the next one better. All right, catch you guys next time.